Time for part two. Time for part two. All right. So we have had man bread rising in the microwave. And uh, da da da. Check it out. It has. It, she has risen. She's like I said. She's not quite double volume, but but but. Oh, <laughs> it does take a little, but that's okay. That's okay, you know. YouTube's doing YouTube stuff. It, it, it's got to do the thing. Okay, and then we're going to take out the little bit of water that we warmed up to make that a little bit nicer in there for the for the dough to do dough things. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. So, so it's a nice warm place. We did our 45 minutes. Okay, now if you, okay, now there is an alternative to doing the 45 minute thing. If you like, if you plan on making your nan bread like three days later, you can put it as it is in the fridge and just let it rise for three days. But uh, but this way, this way you get to have it today instead of like three days from now. Okay, 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 okay. So we are going to. Da, 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 da. Where is our white rice flour? Okay. So we've got just, just some plain Jane white rice flour here. It doesn't have anything fancy in it. And we are going to be using this as our floured surface. <laughs> Basically we're gonna make it so it doesn't stick to things. So it doesn't stick to things. Okay, okay, okay. And before my hands are covered in flour. Okay, okay, okay. We've got our pot, or our pan rather. Okay. Oh, oh, um, and you know how I've shown you my little silicone, my, my little silicone uh, cutter blade thing? It's uh, in the, it, it's in the fork drawer. It's at the very front of the drawer, cut in, like, it's, it's the green one. It's the, it's the weird see-through greenish yellow one. It's the, that's it. What? We still need a thing. We still need a thing. Put a little bit of oil in, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, we are going to do the thing where we put this over here because I probably need it again. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Yes, yes, thank you. Meow, <laughs> yeah. These are awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, typically, I I found this while I was looking for something to uh, scrape the. Um, Okay, you know when you're going to apply a film to a window, uh, you can order these special and they're silicone and they're food grade. Um, and they work great for working with dough. <laughs> and they're also, also great for applying uh, films to your cell phone and or windows and stuff like that. They're, 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 they're multi-purpose and I love them. I love them and they're cheap. They're super, super cheap. Okay. Okay. Do I remember what they're called? Absolutely not, which is why I was like the cutter, the thing, the thing. Okay, so we've got some regular rice. So this is just white rice flour, which is the highest level of ingredient that we add to like, I've noticed the gluten flours. Basically, they start with this and then they go elsewhere. So we're just gonna use that as our, our beautiful base. There we go, our lightly floured surface that we are going to turn our dough out on. My dough has been turned out. Okay. <laughs> Now a little, a little moist. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to take a little bit of our, our red flour and then I'm gonna do it again on this side because uh, notice it's a little greasy on the bottom. That's okay. That is okay. That is okay. That's what we have alert with her. There. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right. All right. You're like, you're gonna need that again. You should probably put it over here for us. Says, Bye. Bye. I will. There. <laughs> okay. Okay, so once they, once it is, we turned it out onto our lightly floured surface, as we have, we got our dough. It has arisen. It's a little bit sticky. It's a little bit sticky. We're just gonna. <laughs> All right. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. We're gonna divide it into eight bits. First, I'm gonna squish it back together. <laughs> We're gonna give it a little bit of a squish in. Let's go. And I'm gonna try not to wear any of them. It's gonna get squished. Gonna get squished. Gonna get squished. Squishing it back down. As you will. As you will. Okay. 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 Alright, so here we go. So we got two, like so. Spread our flour back out. And then we're gonna take our two, cut them in half again. Seriously, I love this thing. <laughs> it's so useful. 
and then, and then, and then, and then. You're right, dividing it one more time. But first, first round. <laughs> we're gonna use our little bit to make these less sticky. Less sticky on the fingers. Less sticky. As you as you as you So yeah, it's gonna be a little sticky. Don't get, don't worry about it. Don't worry about a ting. Cause every little ting gonna be alright. And quiet, quiet, quiet. And then again, and then again, and then again. As you as you as you as you and then as a will. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. As a will, as a will, as a will. like your battery is low. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, Charlie Brown. Okay, okay. And you're right. We did need a little bit of that. Let's get a little bit of flour. Goes in the middle here. We'll use that to spread it out. As a will, as a will, as a will. And oh no, we got flour on me. As a will. Can. As you will, as you will, as you will. As you will. Now, oh, oh, that was a little bit. <laughs> we got a little bit extra in that one. And then, and then, and then, not enough in that one. There we, go. <laughs> we, we fix, we fix. Easy fixing. Okay, okay, okay. Once again, just making them round, dipping them in, the, in our little flour dip in the middle there. Okay, now, be careful with rice flour. Uh, unlike, Unlike many other flowers, if you get any in your eye, it's going to be a little grain in there and it hurts like an SOB. Um, I discovered this, much to my horror, when we were making pierogies. And uh, if you do end up getting any of the rice flour in your eye, you're like, why would that happen? It happens. It happens. Just, just trust me. This is the thing. Um, I, so if, if that ends up happening, what you can do is just uh, head to the bathroom and flush your eye with water and you'll get it out. You'll get it out. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Okay, okay. So we now have eight relatively even kind of circles. <laughs> like those are not circular. Okay. That's a kind of. They're they're circle like. Okay, 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 okay. This one is short on a little bit of flower, so it gets a little bit extra from that one. As it will. As it will. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Alrighty, so for this we have a choice. You can either choose to use a rolling pin to uh, flatten these out, or you can use your fingies. As a will, as a will, as a But our goal here is to get these about as a will, as a will, as a will, three eighths of an inch thick. Three eighths. <laughs> three eighths is a lot. I don't think three eighths. I think that's supposed to be one eighth. <laughs> actually, could you grab me the rolling pin? I think the rolling pin would actually be really, really useful. Actually, I don't know. We were already there. We're already there. Never mind. Never mind. I'm good. Never mind. I don't need it. She's going to bring it to me anyway because she's sweet. Okay. All right. Number one. Number one is done. Okay. 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 So it elongated off. <laughs> Alrighty, it's kind of like, okay, now we, this one's circular, you can make them oval shaped, you can make them heart shaped. <gasps> my little heart cutters! Ooh, instead of the rolling pin! Would you bring me my little heart cutter? We could make little heart ones. We could make little, or little, oh, oh, okay, you know my fun shapes? My fun shapes, like the dinosaur and the, the stuff, could you bring me like all my little fun shapes? The, the big ones, the big ones, the big ones that are in the big drawer that have like, the, that I use to make stuff, cause, cause. Yeah, I don't, one centimeter seems like that would be really, like, like this, that would be like this. This is a centimeter. This is about a centimeter that's not, that's not, that's too thick. That's, <laughs> that is, that is what that is. As it would, but yeah, no, no, we're totally, if she brings me the pretty shapes, we're gonna make little, Cute things. We're gonna make little cute things, or at least some little cute things. I, no, it isn't. I, I I use the metric system. I use the metric system all the time. That's a, a centimeter is not that small. This is like half a centimeter. Like that's about half. Like as it is. Like, <laughs> centimeter is not that small. Not that small. 
I've been using the metric system my whole life. I can eyeball a centimeter. I have problems eyeballing inches because I haven't been using the, uh, the imperial system my whole life. Behold! Behold, we have fun shapes. Fun shapes. Oh, oh, can you, uh, because I, I have, have flowery hands, can you take out all the little mid middle inserts because we're only going to need the cutter part. We're not going to need the thing where I squish things together. Okay, if you would take out the little, the middle bits because they're, oh, we're not going to need the middle bits of any of those. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our first dinosaur. This will be a dinosaur man. This is the Nan of the Jurassic. And like I said, I'll put these up together. We're going to mess with them. <laughs> Jurassic Nan! <laughs> Alrighty. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alrighty. Alrighty, 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 alrighty. <laughs> okay. 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 Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. But no, like, here, here, we have our measuring tape here. We have, okay, so if we were to go, <laughs> so the measuring tape, a centimeter is about here, right? And an inch is here. So like, as it is, this is about an inch tall, as it, like, just as it stands. <laughs> like, why do we have a measuring? Just ignore that, that's a kitchen measure. Ignore that, ignore that, it's fine. <laughs> as you, as you, oh my God, we're making Jurassic Nan, Jurassic Nan, and then we'll like toss a couple hearts in and a baby a star. <laughs> We'll have beautiful, beautiful Nan. Okay, okay. One more Jurassic Nan coming right up. I think he's good. Oh, oh, oh no, I need to make him just a little bit more. As we, as we, as we. <laughs> there we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I measure the dough. I did measure the dough. The dough has been measured. Okay, okay, so we have got some Jurassic Man. <laughs> um, I just see that. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> that be, okay, and then we got a little one. A little one. A little guy. He'll, he'll, he'll just be little. He's, <laughs> there we go. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty. Okay, so three eighths of an inch thick. Okay, place it about one tail. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay. On oh, medium low. Medium low. Okay, we're gonna go into four on the induction picker. Okay. Okay, okay, so we're gonna end up like 30 seconds on each side from the sounds of it here. So yeah, definitely, definitely a little. Okay, okay, so we've got two dinosaurs. <laughs> two dinosaurs. For our Jurassic Man. <laughs> You, you still, <laughs> ah, I see, I see. Are, are you a victim of the backfire effect, sir? <laughs> okay, okay, and then, and then we're gonna do, probably get, yeah. got some heart man. You could say this is from the heart man. <laughs> Fresh from the heart. <laughs> you still remain unconvinced. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I get to play with shapes. <laughs> okay, yes, yes, putting it in pretty shapes does make it take a little longer to make, but, but they're pretty shapes and you get to have fun. And, uh, oh, oops, hang on, hang on, I'll give me the, there you go. And having fun when you bake and or cook and like having and watching people eat it and with with like the little cute shapes and stuff like that is super awesome like this like like it's it it is satisfying that's what i'm getting at mentally mentally it is worth the little bit of extra work that you're going to do to make it happen there we go got two parts as a loop as a loop as a loop as a loop <laughs> What was that about? Uh, that was just, that was just, you know, your ferocious ferocity. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about a thing. Okay. All right. A little dinosaur, a little heart. What are we having with the nan? Curry. We're totally having curry. I made 
an amazing, delicious, delicious experimental um, pumpkin curry uh, the night before last. And I've been letting the flavors mingle. It's, uh, it is pumpkin and zucchini and shallots and onions and, uh, and pumpkin puree, <laughs> like you said, the pumpkin already. And, uh, and then I used a gave syrup for my sweetener, well, a crap ton of garam marsala. Um, and then we also put into it, like I used the, um, the cashew curry paste and I'm trying to think what else did I put into it? Um, what else did I put into it? Carrots. Carrots went in. I like I grated some carrots to throw into it. And zoomy. And zoomy with zoomy. Here we are. And they got Mickey Mouse. And yeah, it's it's awesome. It's awesome. Oh crap. Uh, could you I think we're almost out of rice. Could you make rice? We need rice. I'm gonna we're gonna need some rice with rice. Did you say rice? Christ? Oh wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. It should be the rice should be ready at the same time if you if you make it now. If you make it now. Uh, <laughs> I just realized we are, but yeah, so, oh, yeah, no, it's, it's good. It is really yummy. Uh, it, it turned out awesome. A masala with mine and some jasmine rice. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, we are also doing the, uh, wait, are we using jasmine? Yeah, it is jasmine long rice. I'd have to go look to be sure. It, like, we're not using the cow rose, that's for sure, because I use the cow rose for stuff like, um, congee. And and things where I want the rice to be more like not a sticky rice, but more like closer to a sticky rice, because the cow roast like creams like does cream rice stuff really nice. Like it, no, it is jasmine. We have jasmine. Yes, jasmine. I was like, no, 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 no. Okay, we have to make a new one. I screwed up. That's <laughs> it. Very old fashioned, but you're here's the no. Well, you know, you know what they say, he who controls the spice controls the universe, you know? <laughs> On the one hand, so maybe they are right to fear the spice, for it has power! <laughs> or at least the ability to grant power. Okay, let's flatten this one out again so we can have our second, uh, second little guy. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it really does. <laughs> dude is, uh, dude is messed up. Like, have you read the books? I read them when I was like, think like 14. I read the whole series in a sitting. I, it was a long week. Or at least all the series that was out. <laughs> at the time in a sitting. And I, you're like, how did that work? Those are big books. I speed read. I, I speed read. I got lost in the books because it was such a good story. Uh, but, <laughs> but yeah, it gets weird. Um, and including Chapter House. Chapter House. Cha Is that like before or after God Emperor, dude? Because like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yes. Yes, they did. I agree on the insanity. There we go. Our little, our little Mickey Mouses. Okay, okay. We're gonna need more. What did I do with the flower? <laughs> it's fine, you Thank you. Yeah, like absolutely nuts. Like ah, oh yeah, and then his son took over, right? I remember it like later on. It's this kiddo took over writing the series. As we Okay, 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 okay. So we got another little, another little one. So we got two circles. Okay, and then, and then clear space. To clear space, we're gonna cook these ones, and then do the other ones. Okay. <laughs> it's not gonna believe my thumb trick. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't write, read any of the ones the kiddo wrote. I was like, eh. No, I was like, I'm good with it. I'm good with what happened. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's a good thing I haven't changed my password yet. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. 
Okay, we went too far. We went too far. So how we ended up in the comments. Okay. 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 Here we go. Okay. So it says it's, we're probably going to want a little more oil. So we're going to put a little bit more oil in just based on what I'm saying. Say about two teaspoons. But two teaspoons is what it calls for. So we're going to put in our second teaspoon. There we go. Okay. Okay. And then we have this here in case we need it. Okay. 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 Once again. Spread it out. And bark. Into the Jurassic period we go. Okay, these are our experimental ones. We're going up to medium, medium, because once again, induction burners and regular stuff uh, are not the same. They're not the same. Okay, we have our spatula for, you know, where things are at. That's there. Okay, 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 okay. So what we want is for these to kind of bubble. That is what we're looking for. Bubbles, for them to be bubbly. Bubbly! Okay, 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 okay. And I think, yeah, these are the shapes we're gonna play with and we'll leave the other shapes over here. There we are. Okay. All right, so we've got our button shapes. We've got our mouse, our heart, and a star. <laughs> and our stars. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Right. Okay, oh, 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 see how they're starting to poof up? Okay. Okay, flip, flip, it's flipping time! Underside is golden brown. How did I tell when the underside is golden brown? Oh, oh that's looking good. <laughs> okay, okay, so this dinosaur is looking a little, a little like he's got a weak neck. <laughs> so, hang on, look over his view, let's do it on the other side. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, so just so we don't end up losing any of our Jurassic period guys here. As do we. As do we. Okay, so we definitely want medium. Medium is the answer. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So, next, next part of our trial period is, again, again, take your oil. Make sure to mix it in the middle, guys. Mix it in the middle. Otherwise. And the reason I'm only putting two in is because I have paranoia. <laughs> Paranoia. If you are confident, you can go ahead and put in, but I just, I said, I want, I want to be in a bad situation. <laughs> They're cute. I like that. <laughs> it's the cute enough. All right, now we're waiting for them to foof. For they must foof. Okay, we might go up to five and a half, just based on, because, like, because this is supposed to only take 30 seconds. It's already been 30 seconds. So we're going to run up to 5.5 on the induction cooker. That's it, that's 5.5! We may go as high as 6. We'll see how this goes. Okay. And because... Very soon the phone's gonna turn off and we need it to take photos with. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Problem solved. Fry! <laughs> okay, we're going up to six. Going up to six. Going up to six on the induction curve. And remember, the reason why I'm doing this is because temperatures are different on induction. On a regular stove top, medium low will do you because it, a, a regular stove top just keeps outputting heat at like a specific temperature. It's like, I'm gonna put out that much heat, period, the end. Whereas an induction cooker takes you up to a certain amount of heat, hits it, and then turns itself off. 
until it drops just below it and then it turns itself back on again. So for this, you have to kind of like figure out your, your where, where your sweet spot is for it putting out the amount of heat you want to have it put out without turning itself. <laughs> so that's what we're doing, finding the sweet spot. Mm -hmm. But also, you don't want to put out so much heat that it burns. Like I said, induction cookers are a little bit different. They're cool. They're really energy efficient. I love them. It's also like super nice for cleanup and stuff like that. But like, yeah, you kind of gotta. You need like they're like oh god. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Now it's too far. Now it's too. F there's like a sweet spot on your arm, like right about here, where like the cuff is down far enough that it's like comfortable, but up far enough it's out of the way. There. And I like it to be like just, just, just on this side of the elbow. It's perfect, like comfortable. That's for me. Oh, oh, I think it's puffing. You're getting boofs. It is. Spatula time. Spatula. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, nice and brown. I heard how, oh no, that's a little bit too tough on this side where it turned out. Going back down to 5.5, 5.5. Maybe we'll just wait it out. We'll wait it out. It takes us a little bit longer. That's okay. That is okay as long as we end up with, you know, an end product that we are happy with. That's all that matters. All that matters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. Like you don't have to make fun shapes if you don't want. You can like, like I said, I just enjoy that I can make fun shapes. And I'm like, yep, this is the thing. This is what we're doing. We're making the cute shapes. It's gonna be cute. It's gonna be cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. So all these guys are over here. I'm gonna take one of these guys. Okay. So we've gained a little bit more confidence. I'm gonna put in one of these. There we are. I'm gonna let that one pop up while these ones are finishing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna be Mickey Mouse time! Mickey Mouse time! <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> oh, I can't do it. Huh? Howdy there! It's time for Mickey Mouse! <laughs> yeah, my Mickey Mouse voice isn't great. I have moments where I hit it, like dead on, and then the rest of it is like. Like, well, at least you try. Mm -hmm. And boy, and boy, and boy, and boy. Okay, check on the bottom of our hearts for golden brownness. Mm -hmm. Need a little bit more. How are you doing? Oh yeah, no. not quite. Not at a quite a mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, we're up to six again. We're up to six. Oh, oh no, because the five by five is giving us the bubbles we want. Okay, so we'll just patience, patience. I'm gonna bite the dinosaur's head off soon. <laughs> Just thought about that. I'm like, oh. <laughs> you know how people say don't play with your food? Screw that. Play with your food. Have fun with it. Enjoy the process. Enjoy eating it. But like the idea, the idea is for this to be like, like you spend like what? How much of your life eating? Does anyone know the stats? I know it's like, I know it's a lot of time. <laughs> and that's a lot, so that you have to do all the damn time, so you might as well have fun with it. Um, okay, 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 okay. This one's definitely goofed. Okay, 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 okay. We are bringing back over our little hearts. Little hearts, yeah. Yummy hearts, yeah. Yummy, meow, 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 meow. On the plate they go. Hold off, hold off, hold off, hold off. So once again, we got our little dinosaurs, which was our test batch. The hearts turned out significantly better because we got our temperature right now. And now, and now, and now, and now, and now. Oh, actually, we will do our two little other guys because we're, you know, doing a, doing a circular batch. So in goes our two other little circles. Check. And then check. Check a doodle. Check a doodle. And look at that, we have space. Space, the final frontier. All right, which means we can start working on our stars. Star, starlight, star bright. First star I see tonight. Wish I may, wish I might. 
Yet the wish I wish tonight I wish I wish my girlfriends are so hard to write. They really are. <laughs> Takes practice. <laughs> We're almost at our second star. Ciao, baby. <laughs> Our stars look vaguely like they look a little deformed. They're a little, you know, but you get the idea. It's kind of, you know, could be a star, could be a starfish. You do you. You do you. Uh, <laughs> All right, this will be another one of our little rounds. There we go. There we go. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, back to dinosaurs. Back to dinosaurs. Okay. 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 Oh no, that sucks. That's all right. Are you using one of the ones that you stick into the meat, or are you just, oh yeah, because you're using a straight stick in. Well, at least they're kind of cheap, right? They're not, they're not that expensive to get. Like, uh, and if you get a good one, you can get one that doubles as like a candy thermometer. Like I have two, I've got like one that's a straight up candy thermometer, and then I've got one that's a meat thermometer. And uh, the meat one has like this, <laughs> this wire, the wire comes off as like all metal wrapped, and you can just leave it in the oven with it like stabbed into something, and it'll just like, do the temperature thing, so rice in 20 minutes, fantastic. But yeah, no, that it sucks when they break. It sucks. So are you are you gonna get any new improved one? One that does both? With like with all all of the fix-ins? Or are you gonna go like super basic with it? Or one of those ones that you just like stab in and and non-digital, because mine are digital. <laughs> I was like, I should probably have led with that. It's minor digital. Uh, I use no! No! Ah! Okay, we're gonna have to redo that. We're gonna have to redo that, and we're gonna have to put some more of the flour down, because we had a moment. We had a moment, we had a moment. So yeah, so do you, were you using a digital or analog one? <laughs> they have foofed. We have foofing. Gentle foofs. Little foofs. Tiny foofs. Oh! The yeah, digi ones are awesome. Like I have, okay, so I've got an analog um, oven thermometer and uh, for my meat thermometers and my candy thermometers, both of those are digital and they like, oh, you can you can like set a temperature and be all like, please, sir, I need you to let me know when it gets to X, Y, Z amount of degrees and I, because I need to take it out. Scream at me when it's done. And it's like, aye, aye, captain, I will scream as loud as I can. <laughs> and you're like, yay. Okay, true, true, the oven ones are a little, like, uh, like, you probably never noticed the oven one I have upstairs. <laughs> it just kind of dangles. But you've got, like, uh, there's a bunch of different kinds you can get now. You can get ones that, like, that hang on the rack, or you can get ones that have, like, a little thing where you can, like, stick, like, if you've got, like, a baking pan or baking cookies, you can have to sit, like, right on the baking pan. Uh, so, so it, it, de it depends. It depends on, like, what, what you got going on. And, yeah, for those of you who are like, why do I need an oven thrower? You really do. Because your oven does not actually a precise instrument. It, uh, it does issues. And if you have a recipe that really, really needs that to be at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, then you better have an oven thermometer that verifies that you are indeed sitting at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Because otherwise, he's going to have... Uh, <laughs> otherwise, he's going to have regrets. Did you 20 degrees Celsius? I'll have to check mine. Um, I'm pretty sure mine goes up higher than that. Um, like, 
like I'll have to check my digital one and my my analog one because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure mine goes up and it, and if it does I can like recommend the brand to you because they've both been really good to me. Yeah. And they were cheap. They were like dirt cheap. I got uh, I got the analog one on Amazon and. Uh, and I got the digital one at the place I have dubbed the cheap place nearby. It's called the Bianco Morris Liquidation Center, and they kind of rock for uh, for getting for getting things that like a steal. Okay, that's good. Here we go. Oh, oh, we have foofed. We have foofed. It is time for it. Flip. flip in the foofin. Flip in the foofin. Foofin flipping time. Which means it's probably probably. Let's double check. Should be good. Yep, yeah, it is time to this one. So we'll give them like another second while well, I deal with the dinosaur. <gasps> oh no! Why would you curse? <laughs> that, that, is a t <laughs> that is a baker's curse. <laughs> your cakes will burn and your meat won't render. Your bread won't rise and your fries won't tender. So measure that heat whenever you can get the best bake you possibly. Yeah, it's true. It's true, 100%. But that, that sounds like a baker's curse. <laughs> that sounds like a bigger. Our lethal dinosaurs. Okay, okay, bringing our back over. It's time for these guys to go off. Check, check, check. And then check the doodle. Extra check your doodles. Okay, that one's not done yet. Okay, let's go back up. You go over here. And it's time for Mickey Mouse to join the fray. In you go, Mickey. In you go. Hey, Mickey. You're so fine, you're so fine, you're on my mind, hey, Mickey. Be like, that's how the song goes. That's how it goes now, darn it. Get in there. I guess it could also be a bear face, but it totally screams Mickey Mouse to me. There we go. There we go. Okay, okay. It is. It is time for. for you know, our heart. But oh, that was beautiful. That, that was beautiful. But yeah, no, you need another thermometer. You, you gotta have one. You got like, I, I, like when you start getting seriously into cooking, and you want to have delicious food, especially, especially if you're trying to cook gluten-free stuff, guys. Um. Then uh, yeah, then it is time to get that ye old oven thermometer and uh, and ye old uh, old stabby thermometers that you stick into things because it makes all the damn difference in the world. Okay. And for those of you who are trying to cook with marijuana, yeah, you you got to be particular about your temperature. You got to be particular because uh, the THC bakes off at certain temperatures. <laughs> okay. Or, you, so you got you got to be you you know you know you know you know it's uh it would be unfortunate to make all those brownies you made for yourself and then discover they don't do nothing. You know, they feel like I made myself tasty medicine, but I cooked the medicine off. No. <laughs> okay. Already, 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 already. Let's do you. Let's do you. Let's do you. Let's do you. Once you be done now, off you go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Well. So a writer by study. That's. That's an interesting way of putting that. Okay, we need more. We need more of this. We need more of this. Off it goes. Do 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 do. Of course. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Again. Meow 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 meow. Meow 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 meow. Okay. And then once again, we're just gonna pop this guy in because we have we have the space. We have the space. We have the space. Space. <laughs> okay. Oh, I hate him here. 
Ooh, it's my craft and art. That is true. That is true. For me, it's, it's just my passion. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I'm be one of those. <laughs> You're a tradesman, not a craftsman. Oh. <laughs> there we are. Oh, look at it. Look at them. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. I cannot wait to eat them. Hey, <laughs> 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 Check right now. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh, this was kind of cool. Okay, so it, it got a little squished in the shaping process, but that's kind of created like a cool kind of like slant to the heart. We're keeping that. That looks wild. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, time to flip them. Flippity doo da, flippity day. My, oh my, I'm making man bridge. Okay, they look kind of like little. Okay, I'm not as keen on the little bears as I am on any of the other shapes. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how the stars bake up, uh, because we might skip more more of the little. Yeah, because they look like Mickey Mouse. We put them in, but they come out kind of looking like bears. Like I don't know, man. I don't know. Of all the shapes, it's. <laughs> it's beautiful. All our little shapes. I think this one that that this would do best as like either a cookie, or or something where we draw the eyes on. You know what I mean? Oh my. <laughs> well, like you say. <laughs> okay, so, uh. <laughs> okay. Seeing bears, I'm sorry. I, I thought I was making mice. <laughs> okay, so before we commit this one to a shape, we are going to, you guessed it, we are going to put the stars in. Stars! Okay, so we kind of have to make space here. Space, the final frontier. Time for just like a little bit more of. Actually, hang on to my little over here. And you. Okay. Stars are going in. Stars are going in. Let's see how they turn out. So that will decide whether or not we make more stars or or if we're going to make uh, more hearts and dinosaurs. Because I really like how the hearts and dinosaurs turn out. <laughs> Alright, and I think I'm going to pour a little bit more oil over into our plate so that we can use that to spread some oil around. There we go. There we go. That's we're running low. Running low on the oil. Okay. And the reason why I'm pouring it over here instead of in here is because I don't want to like end up with like um, one of the nets that's like really saturated in oil because that would suck. I help, 
Ow! I can't touch myself. I need to... I'm fine. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. okay. The poofin. We got a poofin stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. But yeah, no, these are like, they're holding their shape really well. I'm really pleased with this. Like, um, texture wise, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for like, cook, for, it's gonna, <laughs> flavor wise, we'll find out very soon. But texture wise, this is good. This is good. So it's, it's getting top marks for texture, for workability and stuff like that. Yep, 100%. And now, and now, and now we flip it. Let's just start to see little guys. the dip it? Yeah. Yes. Yes. That is a good point. That is a very, very good point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then we got one more. One more after this. Some little guy. All happy. Just chilling right here. Waiting his turn. Okay. Oh, boy, boy, boy. <laughs> it's a face. That's the, like, your nose and mouth area, and I got the two eyes. Eh, eh, star shaped glasses. <laughs> As a rock star. Yeah. A zoo, a zoo, a zoo, a zoo. Is it a silver cigar? <laughs> it is not. It is not. It's just, uh, okay, it's just fully metal so that, uh, cause this, this, like these pans are oven safe. So if I wanted to like bake something in this, I could just take this whole thing and shove it in the oven. As one, one of the reasons why I was like, yeah, baby. Oven safe! Oven safe! As it we, as it we, as it we, oven safe. Cause like, yeah, yeah. Cause, so, cause, cause why have just a pan? When you can have a pan, there's also a baking. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Um. All right. So this, uh, this brand, it's um, it is a slightly prettier version of the stuff that Gordon Ramsay uses. It's like the same kind of thing as the Hexware. Um, but it is uh, NutriChef is the one I use, and I bought it because it has the pretty fire on the inside, but it's also less expensive. Uh, the lids, though. The lids for cleaning, they get water caught in the rim, and I don't know if the Hexware has the same issue because they're like complete. So, but, but, yeah, no kidding, I bet. But, but yeah, no, totally. Uh, either get Nutrisha or the Hexware because they, they're awesome. They're awesome. They're awesome. I'm like, well, you've seen me do weird things to the pads. You, like, where I'm like, oh no, I burnt egg to it. And then I'm like, scrape, scrape, scrape. Oh well, it's off now. <laughs> And so, so yeah, like the Hexware win, win, like the, 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 the non, and I love that. Okay. So, you know, I use silicone stuff in these because, uh, because it sounds nicer. Like it doesn't make the weird scrapey sound, but for this, not going to wreck your pan. Like I did some research before we got them. It's that's why I like, like the, this and the Hexware. Cause, uh, cause you can use metal utensils in it and not have to worry about anything won't scratch your non-stick surface, it won't mess with your pan, you don't end up eating little bits of the non-stick. Uh, it's kind of awesome. <laughs> ten, 10 out of 10 would recommend, except for the freaking lids. Except for the lids. The lids, lids are like 5 out of 10, because they, they do lid things, but, but like I have to run them through the dishwasher on sterilized cycle, so that I make sure that, well, that all the bacteria in that little gap is <laughs> As, let's see, like, I don't know if the ones that Gordon Ramsay uh, does, I I don't know if those ones are have different lids. Ooh. Oh, you've got a massive hodgepodge. Ah, so you're gonna. So is this gonna be your very first like set set where you where you has where you you got you got the set of setting. Hmm. Okay, it's again. It's again. We are running out of space. There we go. Now we've got rooms for the stars. Stars. Yeah, and you're right. The stars did turn out okay. All right, so we'll make some more stars.
good with her. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a couple of hearts. Ready, and then another star. We get two stars, and then a couple more hearts out of it, I think. Or wait, no, how many more? Maybe some more dinosaurs. I feel like we're low on dinosaurs, and we can have more dinosaurs because they're my because uh, they're my favorite. <laughs> they're really cute. <laughs> I have been wanting to make something with the dinosaurs since I saw them. I like it's little dinosaurs. Oh my god, they're so cute. Is it weird? Okay, so you're getting your standard three saucepan, okay, frying pan, and large, uh, large dish milk pan? Milk pan? You call them milk pans? Oh, oh, and your you're, you're super small pans, and your stock, yeah, because look, his stock pots are expensive, and they never seem to, they never match whatever it is that you got. Like, my stock pots are, <laughs> my stock pot is like this big and that round, and uh, it is not compatible with this, unfortunately. I'll need to get one that is eventually, but, uh, and then my other stock pot is this big around and that tall. And, <laughs> and they just, they're massive. <laughs> and I'm like, yep, this is my giant pot for when I make giant things. <laughs> and I need, I need something to can with. Neither of my stock pots are canners, right? Although I could probably just get like one of those racks and stick it in the bottom and be like, there, now it's a canning pot. <laughs> As you lose okay. All right, yeah, and then for the last one, we'll do a couple more dinosaurs. Couple more dinosaurs, because they're super cute. The rice is ready. Fantastic! Uh, you make Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, no, I got you. I hear you. Well, yeah, because chili, you'll, like, like, there's no sense in making a small pot of chili. There really isn't. You, you make a pot of chili because it freezes awesome and it's a pain in the ass to make or at least to, since that's like an eight hour job that's like an eight hour Sunday for me I make chili and uh, one of these days you we can all like listen to a book together or something and make chili you're like hey guys it's chili making day set eight hours aside uh, like, and we're just gonna chill we're gonna chill and play games while we, while we watch this chili We'll do it after God's Unchained has, like, cell phone mode. <laughs> um, it's... Ah, cool. Okay, and I, our light rice is getting pretty good, our rice flour, so we're going to put, like, a little bit more on here just because for the last one I don't want it to get messed up. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, because it lasts forever. Like, you put it in the freezer, and it just, you're like, okay. And then whenever you want chili, you just pull one out. I, I freeze them in one and two cup portions, so that, uh, so that depending on if I'm like, am I making a meal for two or a meal for one? <laughs> like, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and then you just like, oh, and then you have choices. Like, you can, you warm it up in the microwave, you can bake it. Oh, I love putting it in, like, you know, in those little... In the little French onion soup pots, I have to get more of them because I broke all mine, unfortunately. I'm still sad about that. I had these beautiful crystal ones uh, that were, they were oven safe, microwave safe, dishwasher safe. They are not drop on the floor safe, by the way, which is how, well, they died. They, they I had a set of four and they slowly, over time, died. <laughs> they died to being dropped. Oh, it was sad. But they were so pretty, and they were like French onion soup day, little, 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 and, and you just like, and they had little silicone lids and everything, you just pop them in the oven on like a little tray, and they made the most beautiful looking soups and chilies and stuff like that, where, where like, like, but, but you're, where you're just reheating it because you froze it, so you take, you take the, uh, your frozen, because they're two cup portion, uh, cups, right, you just take the frozen thing, pop it in, and put it in the oven, and be like, and we said that for 40 minutes, 40 minutes on, I think 400 is what I used to do. And uh, and then in 40 minutes, you have fresh, fresh, nice, steaming hot chili. That's 
awesome. Oh yeah, freezer burritos are also good. Look, well, because well, first you make okay. I use the chili as my base for the burritos and stuff like that because so so I so I make I make the chili and then I yeah it, it's like it, it's oh because if you make it thick you can't and uh, where where like if you want to water it down later you can then then you've got your burrito base and everything else like that and if you're like okay burritos take the chili you add a little bit of extra black beans to it and and to the ah burritos burrito oh yeah. Yeah, but the, yeah, burritos also, you, like you pre-make them guys, you put everything in them, you wrap them up, and then when you want to have them, you pull them out, you put them on your, your stove top, fry them up, and it is so good, and so easy, and so simple, and it's like, it's perfect for days when you don't want to cook. <laughs> but you're like, I don't want to cook, I don't want to cook, wait, I have, <laughs> I have food that is delicious, so I don't have to cook, I just like, Throw it in, let it do its thing, and uh, and in a bit, I think like 20 minutes, it'll be like about 10 minutes on each side, and for that I go like medium low heat. But yeah. Oh, oh, they're pooping. My favorite batch cook? Okay, okay. Um. Well, we've already talked about the curry, <laughs> or not the curry, the, uh, the chili, and then the the Gloria Wonder and the burritos, because that's a two for one. I love that it's two for one. Um, I used to make big batches of mushroom soup when I was in the mood, like, and then freeze them. Uh, <laughs> and that worked really nice. Uh, let's see, what else do you have batch? Uh, what else do I normally make in, like, huge bats and then save for later? Um, Okay, okay, the uh, butternut squash soup, I could see making it a huge batch and then putting it in, but it's not necessary, you don't have to, because it's pretty easy to make, it's quick. Uh, what else do I normally make in big batches? I have to think about it. I used to, before we started doing the cooking show, I make trying to make a new thing every day, I used to like, <gasps> shepherd's pie, shepherd's pie, shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie is one of my favorite batch cooks uh, because you can like because you prep it like you do all the steps right and then you then I have like a whole bunch of little tins and I put it in little tins I put the little lid on it and then uh, and then when you want to have it it's already pre-made you just pull out the little tiny like person sized meal tin you throw it in the oven once again 30 minutes 400 um and and you have shepherd's pie <laughs> nice. <laughs> it works really good. It works really good. It's really nice. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, lasagna also. Lasagna is another one I do the same way. Um, it's uh, cause it's cause it's something where you just do all the prep, you put everything together, and then once again, you, you guessed it, four hundred in the oven for forty minutes. <laughs> and then you have lasagna. Uh, as you weep, as you weep. Oh, nope, 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 okay, weep. We had a little bit of sticking. Let's fix that. As you weep. But yeah, there's so many things. Like, almost everything can be cooked in, like, um, I also, spaghetti sauce. Spaghetti sauce is another thing I, I like to batch cook. Uh, just because, um, because it's, Reheat it when you want it. It's going to be, you just you just make it. You make it. I put it in single one cup portions for the, because uh, every for every two cups of spaghetti you need one cup of sauce, right? So or two cups of pasta, one cup of sauce. So I like to batch cook both the cream sauces and the white sauces. Um, oh really? Maybe maybe uh, it could be. I. Uh, like I said, it might be that I use like a different sauce combination because I use it for, for my sauces, like I've got feta cheese in there, um, which definitely helps bind it. Then I've got the carrot sauce, like the carrots themselves instead of tomatoes. So there's like, um, and then, uh, and I use cornstarch. I use cornstarch as well. So I've like, like use corn flour and cornstarch. It's the exact same thing. I looked it up, it's the same. So like I use cornstarch and it doesn't separate at all. Like maybe it's cause I'm using like cheese as a bind, like, like you might want to try putting some feta in. As a binder. 
your description of us. We are making gluten-free man bread. As, and we're making them fun shapes. Because because we can. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Time for us to take off of the sink. There we go. There we go. But yeah, if you give me a second, I will cover, like, if you want to know everything that's in here, I will cover the ingredients for you and the steps, uh, because, uh, <laughs> like, these are completely gluten-free. We haven't tasted any yet. We have not tasted any yet. But so far, for a texture and, like, actually putting them together, they are, they're, they're good. The, this is fantastic. Oh, and we're on part two of the episode. So for those of you on YouTube, I won't make you fall to the back to the first episode if you want the ingredients list, but you're going to need to go to episode one for the instructions on how to make this part. Because uh, it's important. It is important that you follow all the steps. Gluten-free baking is not something that allows you any freaking wiggle room. Not all the steps. You do everything exactly precise. We work in grams. Um, and uh, and then and then you will actually get something that tastes good uh, and is the texture you want. But if you you deviate, oh woe to ye who deviates. <laughs> You won't be sorry. <laughs> You're like, oh, really, really, really. Okay. So give me half a second, your discretion advised, and I will give I will give you everything that is in this, from what we made the flour out of to the instructions for how to cook it. All right. Oh, I'm getting into my phone again. All right, because it's digital, digital. Okay. 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 Here we go. All right, so step one, the flour. What is in the actual flour itself? All right, so what this is, is over here. <laughs> With my very messy hands. This is a better batter replacement. This is homemade because I have found that the stuff that you buy at the store sucks. It sucks, it sucks, it sucks, it sucks. It's horrible. I don't like it. Um, and so what we have in our better batter is uh, I made five cups for this recipe. We, d we only ended up using three cups worth. But I used, but the recipe calls for two and a half, and uh, when it comes to like your elevation and temperature and where you live and stuff like that, it varies. So some places will need the two and a half, some places will need three, some places might need only two. So you kind of like, you kind of go with it and figure it out from there. All right, so to make five cups of our better better replacement, we've got 210 grams of white rice flour, uh, 210 grams of brown rice flour, um, 105 grams of tapioca starch, 105 grams of potato starch, then we have uh, 21 grams of xanthan gum, and uh, 35 grams of potato flour, which is different than potato starch, they're two separate things. Okay, and uh, then we have 14 grams of pectin, and that will net you five cups of the butter butter flour. <laughs> or not butter butter flour, but yes, yes, the butter butter flour. And that, uh, uh, and, and like I said, working with it has been really nice to work with. I, we don't know how it tastes yet. We'll find out soon. This is our first time using this particular flour blend. Uh, so, but, the, but it smells good. And that is step one in having something come out that tastes good. Step one. Does it smell good? Yes. Yeah, great. That's promising. Okay. And then to actually make these, let's go back up. The ingredient list of the stuff in the tingus is, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, all the way to the top here. Okay. So we... We ended up, like I said, with three cups of the of the flour. But like I said, start with two and a half, and then add more as needed, depending on where, what your elevation is, where you live. It's gonna it's gonna vary. Um, okay. Then we had half a teaspoon of salt. Then we had four and a half teaspoons of sugar. Um, I used dextrose specifically, uh, and you can use whatever you want, but I do recommend using the dextrose. It's nice. Okay. And then we had uh, two and one fourth of a teaspoon of yeast. And what we did is we proofed that in with the, with the water and stuff like that. I pre-proofed that, so you're probably going to do that as well. Okay. And then we have one third of a cup of plain yogurt. That I used coconut yogurt, which is vegan, and we let that sit at room temperature. Room temperature is important. Then we had three tablespoons of oil, and I used safflower oil for this. You can use butter, you can use ghee, you can use whatever you want. It just has to be like a liquid oil. It needs to be liquid. Okay. And then, and then, and then, and then, we used... One. Okay, so we used 50, 50 grams of eggs at room temperature. I use quail eggs to do to measure these out because I have found that uh, I can get like exact egg, egg measurements with, with quail eggs because each of them is between like five to ten grams. So, so, so usually, usually works out really nice. It, it allows me to get exactly what we need without any waste. And then, uh, 
but but you need 50 grams of whole egg and then and then and then and then, and then 25 grams of egg white separately. Like you also on top of your 50 grams of egg, you need another 25 grams of egg whites. <laughs> and then and then and then and then three fourths of a cup of warm water. And the reason why it needs to be warm is because you're going to be using it to proof your yeast, basically. And it's going to help the yeast rise. It needs a warm, 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 sugary environment. Okay. And then, and then, of course, we have the oil for the glory and wonder that is actually the baking. And once again, I used sunflower oil. You can use whatever you want. Um, except I would not advise anything like, I would not advise olive oil because it, it burns at high temperatures. So you want an oil that is both neutral tasting and something that like can stand being hot without burning, that is. And sunflower oil like that fits that bill. It's nice. But yeah, that's everything in it. Oh, and remember, remember, if, if you see enjoy in this, and have a good time, and, 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 and then you like the recipes and the food, and you like chili, please remember to like, follow, subscribe. <laughs> but, but yeah, that's what we're making. And we're making them fun shapes. We're making them fun shapes. So we have, over here, we have a couple of bears. I'm not really happy with how the bears turned out, so we only made two. And we've got stars, hearts, little dinosaurs, dinosaurs, and then we have the circles, which is the leftover from what we made. So, so we, we could call them moons if you want. We could go with the stars, stars and moons, or stars and sun. I'll take it. But, uh, but yeah. So we got the, the fun shapes because because we can, because we can, and because it's fun to make fun stuff. It's fun to make fun food. So we have four more dinosaurs and one moon. <laughs> Got our poofy poof. Our poofy is poofed with poofing. So switching them over. And then 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 and then. But yeah, completely gluten-free naan bread. So for those of you who like curry, but have been all like, I cannot have the naan. I have naan this. You too. You too can have naan. And hopefully, hopefully it'll taste good. Well, once it's all finished, we will we will we will taste it, and I will I will give you my verdict on our scale of 1 to 10, <laughs> where it rates <laughs> for, for, for deliciousness. Uh, 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 uh. So stay tuned, stay tuned to find out if this is actually good or not. <laughs> okay, 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 so we are done with our shapes, they get to go in the bowl. So remember, clean as you go guys, clean as you go. If you don't need something from anything anymore, it's time to put it away. Time to because gonna make cleanup for you later easier, nicer, better, flatter, flatter, better, better, better. And like, and the flour we're just using right here is just basic rice flour. And once again, careful with it. Rice flour is pretty grainy. Um, it's like, and if you get that in your eyes, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts real bad. So be real careful about touching your face. Uh, you're like, well, oh, always care. Be extra careful. Be really, really, really careful about the face touching. Don't do it. Don't. You're gonna have regrets if you do. I touched my I touched my face once. Once while do well doing gluten free baking with the rice flour and oh I had to go wash my ass out. <laughs> it hurt it. Okay, 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 but yes, yes, and then, and then soon it will be the eating, and we're going to have curry with this. Uh, I was looking forward to it, we got the rice is already made and ready, it's good to go. The curry was made prior to this, so I'm in my warm, my mouth up in the microwave. Oh yeah, you don't put the lid in, in the oven, I don't put the lid in, screw that. Uh, yeah, you're like, it's uh, yeah, you'll have to get like special lids for them if you want them to, or, 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 okay, so what I've found that a lot of this stuff is like, uh, this pots you're getting rid of, some of them might have lids that are the same size, that fit real nice, that, uh, that are oven safe, and you can just like toss it, but yeah, no, I don't, I don't put the lids in the oven, I don't trust, I don't trust it. <laughs> I like, I trust metal on metal, if they were metal lids, I would totally be cool with putting them in the oven, but they're glass. I don't care how tempered the glass is, and I'll put it in. <laughs> Fair. 
That is fair. But but yeah, but you're like, it's oven safe. I went, oh, and then you're like the lid, and you're like, come on, man. I completely understand. <laughs> like, what do you do? I was. I was just messing with it, and I was like, ooh, I can make a little dragon, and my little dragon turned out looking like a poop emoji, so I scoped it. <laughs> my cat's oven sink. <laughs> uh huh, uh huh. Things you can store in an oven that should never be in it when it is on or do not count. Cat's oven sink. It's terrible, Bernie. That is terrible. Terrible. Terrible, funny, but terrible. No. <laughs> it's like saying technically we are oven safe as long as we do not turn it on. Okay, okay, okay. We're on to the next one. Next one goes on. Here we are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we be. Okay, so we're almost, our poor dinosaurs are very, very, they have been waiting, waiting all this time for dino love, dino love. Nano Yas, <laughs> that's right, Nano Yas is going hungry tonight. I agree, I agree, okay, okay. In goes our little dinosaur, in goes one of our little moods. And then, and then, and then, one more dinosaur. Here you go. There we are. There we go. All right, two dinosaurs left. Two. Two is the number. Roar! Roar! Okay. <laughs> two left to go. Two left to go, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. And then I will eat one of the mice. <laughs> or the mice bear. The bear mice? The Misa bear? Misa. Misa berry. And, uh, because we don't want it for the photo. I don't like the way they turned out. <laughs> They're not pretty. <laughs> but that's okay, because all the other shit's wrong. So. And like I said, the birds, I think, will be good for things that we draw faces on. It's just uh, by itself. By itself, it's not that great looking. Okay. Dino Nans, dine, dine, Dino Nans, yeah. Okay, some asparagus and some vindaloo. Okay, I don't think I've ever had vindaloo. What is vindaloo? Uh, I'm like, okay, the name sounds familiar. I've probably heard it in TV, <laughs> but I don't know what vindaloo is. But yeah, the Nans and asparagus, like I'm on board with that part. But what is a vindaloo? Azul. Very red. Oh, spicy. It'd be the book. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I may we may take extra food photos today. I may put some dinosaurs like in the little thing and create they're We're gonna play with our food a little bit. Just just saying. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna put dinosaurs in the lab. I wish I had little T-Rexes. All I'm, I'm missing T-Rexes. T-Rexes and stuff like that, because we could totally, like, I, yeah, we could, yeah. Like, I've got little tiny T-Rexes, like little, 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 little bitty ones, but, but they'd be more like crackers. <laughs> T-Rexes would be crack. But, but we don't have any big T-Rexes. We. Oh, yeah. One day, one day, one day, we will have a menagerie. One fine, fine day. Yeah, oh yeah, could do the asteroid, like, crashing down and then have, like, the time starts freaking... Like, yeah, we've got options. We've got options eventually, eventually. I did, like, a five. Well, yeah, yeah, I was gonna put the ants in the crate, which definitely looks like lava. <laughs> Oh, boy, are you T-Rexes? I don't 
dolphins, probably bigger dolphins to go with the little dolphins, but don't worry, don't worry, I'm all spent out for right now. She's not like, oh, uh, I'm good, I'm good, just, you know, one day, one day, you know, if anyone's ever wondered, and I was like, what, what should I get for roses as a gift? Wow, wow. Totally share my Amazon list with you. Because <laughs> I would love more little bunch shapes. Little bunch shapes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Alright. Alright. Alrighty, already, already. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Alrighty. Alrighty, already, already. There we be. <laughs> Alright, they're almost done. It, 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 is almost, it is almost even time. Okay, well, while we're doing that part, I'm going to bring this part over here. I'm going to mess with it a little bit so I have space. Space, the final frontier. Okay, okay, okay. So we're going to move. We're going to move our stars around a little bit. Here we go. <laughs> we're going to make some room for the dinos to come back down. As we, as we, oh, these are our first two. I might actually give our first two a little bit more time in the <laughs> <laughs> These were the experimental dinos, and uh, and they cooked at a slightly lower temperature than everything else. Okay, okay. So while we are waiting, while we are waiting for the last little bit, we're gonna have our moment of truth time with this guy. All right. I hope you're ready for this. I have great news, it tastes like Nam. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's Nam bread. It tastes like Nam. It, uh, it will be yummy in the crepe. And it will be as yummy as Nam. Like, it needs butter. It needs butter, but that's because it hasn't been buttered. <laughs> like garlic butter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tastes like Nam. So on our sliding nine scale, this is a 10 out of 10. This tastes exactly like every other nan I've ever made. Except that I didn't put little garlic chunks in this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, these ones are goofy. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna want butter. done soon. Last dino goes in. Very last dinosaur goes in. Very last one. Very last one. There we go. Huzzah. Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. And that makes it time for us to wash our hands. And then I can actually touch things again in a second. That's a big, 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 big. Thanks. 
Okay, so this, once you're done with it, this goes directly into your compost. Compost is, there's no sense trying to save that for anything else. No sense. No sense doing it. And then, and then, and then, and then, well, the last little bit's cooking, it's time for you to wipe down your counter. It's a counter wiping time. No sense letting, letting the stuff stick on there and giving it time to become fused. We would like it to be confused, not fused. We do not want it to refuse to come off. It might light a fuse under you. You're like, aha, aha, okay, give me a second, I'm gonna wash my hands. And then we're gonna continue getting everything off the counter. Yay! I have hands. I have hands that can be used to do hand things. Yay! <laughs> okay. I can now touch things. Dinosaurs. <laughs> there we are. Exactly. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I will be right back while this last little bit does its thing. I'm going to prep for a curry. It's going to be a really quick curry prep. Mostly it's going to be putting curry in a bowl. <laughs> I will be the back of that. Oh my god, I have rice flour on everything. Everything. Alright, see you in a second.
I have returned. I have returned. Did you miss me? Okay, so what we have here is uh, the experimental curry, uh, and then we have the rice. And the experimental curry is going in the microwave. We're going to give it two minutes. We're going to turn this off because it is time for an a nantastic nanable. We'll have a nan time. We'll have a ye old time. Nan, 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 nan. Alright, alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Now we're gonna take this and we're going to soak it. This gets to have a quick rinse and gets to sit in the kitchen. Or well in the second, you know what I mean. <laughs> We don't need it no more. Okay. 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 <laughs> Wiping the flour off of it. <gasps> okay. So I'm going to snag these ones for the photo. I give you those two because they're all. Ooh, ooh, actually. Okay, okay. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I, I'm picking, picking and choosing which ones are going in the photo. Bear with me. Bear with me. Okay, 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 okay. And then you've got a couple of donuts holes. Alrighty, so this is what we are taking upstairs, yeah? Yeah. Okay, and I will be right back. recipe and and an experimental curry that I made earlier on in the week. This is a vegetarian. Actually it's vegan. It's vegan pumpkin curry. I was like, did I put anything in it? That's, no, no, it's vegan. It's definitely vegan. And it turned out really nice. It's a pumpkin, mango, um, zucchini, carrots. Basically all the things that I like to have in curry I put in like a single dish. And I was like, let's give this a go, except using pumpkin as a base instead of the carrots. Mm -hmm. And it turned out really nice. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. You're just in time for the photo and then the eating. Now we've already tasted these and uh, for they taste like every other nan I have ever had. Like it tastes like wheat nan. So indistinguishable, so 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, we're being able to work with like how easy it was to work with the flour and stuff like that, also 10 out of 10. So so this gets, this gets two 10 out of 10s. Oh, thank you very much for following to Hayes Arts. And, and yeah, so so definitely, definitely win on that front. Okay, okay, okay. Waiting for this to cool down enough that we can move it because it needs to go away so that we can take photos of it. Okay, 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 okay. Oh boy. Unplugging. Oh, let's see, unplugging. Do, 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 do. Meow, meow. Oh boy. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. 
heating up the stuff. So we just have to wait. Oh, I love how quickly this cools down. Induction burners rock. If I haven't mentioned that recently, like today, as of yet, <laughs> like, oh, so much nicer as a stove top. You get back to like, like they're really energy efficient. And uh, if you want to like, if you've got a burner like I do, where you just kind of move it around where you want it, um, it, it cools down really quick. <laughs> so you can like, yeah, that is safe enough for me to touch. And let's grab it and put it back where it belongs. As you do, as you do, without worrying about having burned myself. Like, like you saw that, we just finished cooking. We just finished cooking, already it's cool enough for me to be like, yeah, okay, we're good. Okay, so for this next step, for this next step is where I teach you how to take photos of your food. Because we have some very lovely, <laughs> okay, so we made, we made Nan hearts, Nan dinosaurs, Nan stars, and then little Nan moons, little Nan moons. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what we are going to do is we are going to take a picture of this as it is and then we are also going to take a picture of like or I'm gonna put some dinosaurs in the lava. <laughs> I'm gonna put dinos in the lava. It's gonna happen. And then and then and then and then and then and then we will take photos of our lava dinos. Dun dun dinos in the lava. Okay. Okay, so the first thing you need to know about taking photography of your food is make sure the surface area that you're taking photos on is clean. Make it look nice. Make it uncluttered. I'm gonna put this one over here. The first photo is gonna go over there. Mm -hmm. Make it, make it nice. Make it happy. Make it the kind of kind of thing that make, when you look at it, you're like, yeah, that's a really nice backdrop. Okay, and then thing number two. Thing number two, as it were, when one is taking photos of dry food. Um, is going to be tilting, 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 tilting. Yeah, I know, right? It's like, it's perfect. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, 10 out of 10. It's not 11 out of 10 because it doesn't make me want to eat it on its own without any, without adding like butter or anything to it. But no nan bread to date has been an 11 out of 10. Like, it's okay. It's, uh, it's, but it's not bannock. <laughs> it's okay, but it's not bannock. And we will, at some point in the near future, make gluten-free bannock. Uh, but, but like nan bread, it, but it is perfect nan bread. So it is an absolute 10 out of 10. Uh, so, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna decide what angle we want this at. So, so your next thing is you're gonna stand, we're gonna be taking your photo photograph, and then you're gonna be like, okay, 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 okay. There we are. There we are. And you're gonna pick like the thing that looks the coolest. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. There we are. It looks beautiful. And then, and then, and then, and then. So we've tilted it. I've taken just a pot holder. I folded it in half and stuffed it underneath. And the reason why we were putting it at this angle is because it's more pleasing to the eye when you actually go to look at it uh, on a photograph. Okay. Now I'm gonna put the chat away for a second. Chat's gonna go down here, so I'm not gonna see anything you guys say for a little bit. So, 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 so bear with me. Bear with me. If you say something, I will get back to you once uh, once we have put the chat back. Okay, once again, cleaning around it again, just to make absolutely certain, make absolutely certain that our surface area is really nice. Okay, 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 we've got our cloth because we're gonna need it again. We have our camera. Now the next thing you need to know, the next thing you need to know, very important, is, uh, are you ready for this? Portrait mode, <laughs> portrait mode. Because if you go to portrait mode, and then you're gonna take at least six photos. At least six, you're gonna take three lit straight up and three lit on its side at minimum. If you take six, odds are you will like one. <laughs> if you take less than six, odds are you're gonna hate them all. <laughs> you're gonna be like, nah. So like, like oh my God, yeah, no. It is, uh, it's kind of like yesterday. I took less than six photos of the uh, of the Spanish omelet because I because visually it just wasn't it, like it was delicious, but visually very unappealing. So I was like, eh. and I hated every single one of the photos, like every single damn one. I didn't like a single one. <laughs> I was like, oh, so like the rule of six, hold to the rule of six. It will it will do you good. Okay, and then so. We've taken our, our up down photos, now we're taking our wide shots. Wide shots, make sure you're doing your wide shots with this part of the camera's up. And if you're taking photos of people instead of food, uh, take more than six photos, because uh, the food doesn't move. <laughs> the food just does what, what you want it to do. You, you, well, unless you put something that melts together and then yeah, okay, the food moves. Uh, but the food doesn't blink or stuff like that, whereas people do, people do, and you'll have like a perfectly amazing shot and the person you have taken a photograph of has moved. It's perfect in every way, except that their eyes are closed. <laughs> and stuff like that. Okay, there we go. So we have our minimum six like this. 
Perfect. Okay. Okay. So next step. Next step is we're gonna do exactly the same process again, except, 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 except. We are going to lose the things we need. Okay. 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 We're gonna put this in for one more minute because this actually needs three minutes to warm up. But the rice was already warm, so we're gonna give that one more minute. Again. And I'm going to hunt for. There it is. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so something else you can use to tilt your food. You have the little silicone muffin things. These are awesome. <laughs> These are awesome, very useful, very convenient. <laughs> very nice. <laughs> very nice, makes your life easy. Okay. okay, okay, okay. And this is for when you're doing something in a smaller dish and you don't have a lot of space to hide whatever it is because you don't want anyone to see the thing you're using to tilt the dish. That, is, that, that needs to be a secret between you and the camera. No one needs to know that. Uh, you're like, wait, I know now. Okay, okay, it's a secret between us. <laughs> between us and the camera. You, me, and the camera know. No one else needs to know. Okay, 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 okay. Now, while we are waiting, we are going to put our couple of our dino nans. Dun, dun, dino nan, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, dino nan number one is buttered. Yes, no word about dino nan number two. We may stick a star in there, we'll see. <laughs> we will see, cause like right now, we just we're gonna play with it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, this is the part where you can tell anyone who's ever told you not to play with your food to suck it. <laughs> I'm gonna like, play with my food now. Yes, I am. All right, already, already, already. Oh boy, oh boy, okay, okay. And now we need to decide. We need to make decisions. Okay, okay, okay. So we've got a little dinosaur. Do we want to put him on the rice? Or do I want them in the sauce? I want them in the sauce. Do we want the sauce? Yeah, we want the sauce like this. Okay, there we go. Got our little dinosaur in the sauce. He is chilling in the sauce. And, and then, and then, and then, do we want to put a star behind him? Like, yeah. Yeah, we do actually. Okay, we're gonna butter a star, we're gonna stick it behind our dinosaur. Okay, <laughs> and it's gonna prop our dinosaur up because he's trying. <laughs> he is a little, he's a little top heavy. Okay, <laughs> there we go. There we go. So we have our beautiful little star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up upon the star so bright. <laughs> on this curvy tonight. You're like, uh-huh. You can I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything is fine. Okay. So we've got step one. We have staged our food. We have made something that looks super freaking cute. Okay. Okay. And then, and then, and then, and then you're going to bring it over here. And then we are going to tilt it, but we're going to tilt it now in with me looking at how it's going to turn out. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, okay. So now, now we take six more photos. <laughs> six more, six more, and then we get the joy of actually eating this. Okay, 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 okay. So once again, portrait mode. We have cleaned the countertop. Everything is good. We have. So we do our uprights. We do our uprights. And then, and then, and then, and then. Bloop. And then remember your angles. Remember your angles, because a lot of the time this shot you like the absolute best is the one that's angled all weird. And you're like, huh, that one looks amazing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then, and then you're remember your white shots. You will have regrets if you do not use your white shots. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cause it needs both. Needs both and looks okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we have our six photos. We have our six of each. I bring the chat back, and and we gonna we gonna enjoy our man in the curry. They are. They're adorable. I love them. <laughs> They're so cute. All right. Alrighty, already, already. Okay, and we already have one very conveniently buttered <laughs> buttered guy over here. But yeah, so here we go. Here we go. Okay, napkin time for me because otherwise I'm gonna end up wearing it. You're like, you're gonna end up wearing it anyway. Shush! Shush! Let me dream! Let me dream! I have a dream. And in my dream, we do not wear the food. We don't wear the food. Alright, alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, okay, okay. I need a spoon. I have to get my spoon. I did things too. Okay, new spoon. Spoon 2.0. All right, so we have, uh, we've got our little dinosaur. He's got, he's got, there we go. And, and here we go.
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is perfect. That is exactly the flavor combination. He's been buttered on the bottom. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. But this next one, I can turn him over. Um, and, and this is perfect. This is exactly the flavor combination. Yep. Here. Uh, so once again, 10 out of 10 on the nan. Let's say it is nan textured. It holds together well. It's holding up. See? See? Passes the wiggle test. You're like, <laughs> I didn't wear it. Um, yeah, and, and this has been sitting in there and we don't have dissolving. Like, it, it passes. It is a pass. This is a pass. It, it gets full grits. Full grits. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Yep. This is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. This one's win. This one goes into the best of gluten-free playlist. <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yum, 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 yum. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, extra yummy. And this will give you something nice. <laughs> Remember to save at least one piece of nan, or at least some of your nan for the very end of your curry. Uh, because then you can use it to sop up the curry. But yeah. Workability, 10 out of 10. Flavor, 10 out of 10. Yeah, utility, 10 out of 10. Mm. Visuals, 10 out of 10. Like it looks good. It tastes good. It does the job we want it to do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So in a second, in a sec, for those of you on YouTube, we're going to be switching over to God's Unchained. And uh, so if you want to continue following along and chilling for the rest of the day, uh, instead of the dot cooking at the end of the name, just change that to a capital P to K. So for us, PK. And we have gone play games. And for those of you on Twitch and Kick, hang on, I'm going to do the thing where we switch us around and put us on a God's Unchained, and then, and then, and then, we just go play games together, and we're going to do our Weekend Ranked! Mm. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right after I finish the star. <laughs> I'm gonna bite his head off in a minute, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> like I said, you can tell anyone who has ever told you, uh, stop playing with your food to sight. <laughs> be like, yep, yeah, yeah, no, I'm gonna play with my food and I'm gonna love it. And you do you, you do you. Also, if you don't wanna play with the shoot, I guess you don't have to, you don't have to. I plan to, I plan to, because I'm enjoying. Okay, so I'm gonna butter up two more pieces of nab. So we got our dinosaur and then one heart. One heart and that should do us. And the rest of this we will save for later. Later, 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 but this should be good. And I'm gonna save the heart for last because the heart is going to be, this is going to be our, we suck it up. <laughs> You're like, what? What? Okay, all right, so there. So the heart's gonna chill on top, like so. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. And once again, <laughs> I'm doing my best not to wear any of this. How's that working out? As per usual, as per usual, not so much. So much, I'm already wearing the flower. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so for those of you on YouTube, like I said, hang on. And for it, we're going to get ready to refresh into the new stream. And for those of you on Twitch and Kick, just chill. Just chill. I will switch this over. So bear with me. I will be right back. I'll be right back. I'll grab this after we switch this over. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-